My mind is preoccupied with past thoughts. So today, the focus is taking a moment to allow the idea that the reason I perceive only the past, the reason that I'm addicted to the past, the reason that I have been locked in unreality or stuck dreaming is because of the belief that the thoughts I think I think are real thoughts. But in authenticity, I notice that the stream of thoughts that are moving through consciousness are really just thinking about the past and thinking about the future. So it's past future thinking that is where the preoccupation occurs. It's past future thinking that is the addiction. And that is what we must notice today, to pull our focus away from the images of the world and come to an admission that, ah, I have a thought problem going on here. It can be tempting to think about people and things, emotions, situations, but those are all just projections of the thoughts that are passing through consciousness. So there's no point in remaining so focused on effects when we are being told that these erroneous thoughts about the past and the future are causing or projecting the world of images that seems to be there. We are told the, the one thought the one holy, true thought one can hold about the past is that it is not there. And so we could say the one holy, true thought we can hold about the world is that it is not there. And you see, this sets your mind on a very helpful direction of paying attention to the thoughts that you think you think from a reminder, from a context of they aren't reality. The past is gone. The future past is an imagination as well and is gone. We're being convinced by the Holy Spirit that what is to come is already over. And think how that would change your outlook. Think how that would change your, your efforting if you had a glimmer of an experience that what is to come is already past and that the past is over. 
you may have a hint of how this relates to peace of mind because why would you retain future goals if you had an awareness that the future was already over? You'd start to see how ridiculous and silly future goals are. How ridiculous ambition is. Always egoic, always about a personal self and attainable so-called future goals that will make things much better. Ego wants you to hold on to these thoughts of past and future because that's the only way that the ego can be perpetuated. An illusion of self based in time can only be per perpetuated if you keep giving your mind over to that future that's not there and that past that is gone. So, in our reading from the text today, we learned that the atonement is the correction. It's the only so-called defense, we'll say, that works, that, that can't be used destructively. It's not a double-edged sword. It's, it's the only thing that will work. It's the gateway to eternity. And while the sleeping mind believes in time, then the atonement, the correction to this false belief in time, is really the only thing worthy of your mind. You could wake up every day with that one word in your mind, atonement. Not future goals, not what will I do today, not thinking about what happened last night or what happened last week. That's the same old, same old versions of past-future thinking that keep the mind from joy, from true happiness and peace. So the focus is atonement or correction. That could be a mantra, if you want a mantra. Let me accept the correction for the belief in time and space, the belief that I've separated from my source, my creator. Let me accept the correction. And Today's lesson, my mind is preoccupied with past thoughts, is just a reminder again of causation, that it's the thoughts that cross consciousness, it's the thoughts that I think I'm actually thinking that are causing the world that I seem to see. And when I see the impossibility of these thoughts, I see the impossibility of, of causing such a world. We can't stop with thinking that we're just causing the world, but we have to admit it. We have to come to a moment of stark, clear, unprotected admission of this setup before we can laugh and let it go and come fully into our holiness which could never be concerned with such a foolish imagining such silliness
So join me in this today. Join me just in accepting the admission that will begin to free the mind. And what is that admission? My mind is preoccupied with past thoughts.